to my project 13. It is Monday morning. It is my Thursday at work. It's a beautiful drive this morning. The sunrise is just gorgeous. Yeah. Anyway, check this out. Moto Z, Moto Z Force on my mind. Um, those devices are going to be dropping soon. The exact dates are not known by me now. If you know, leave that information down below in the comment section. Give me some feedback on that. But, you know, with any device that comes out, whether it's a budget device that's interesting and intriguing, or a flagship device, and anything in between, I have all that on my mind when it comes to what I like and what I find interesting, and for the channel, especially for the channel. Um, you know that for the most part, I financially um, bring in my own funds whether it's a little bit through YouTube, whether it's my own allowance, or money that I make off devices that I sell. Okay, so that's sort of the layout right there with that. Um, and then I ask all of you what you would, I, I'll throw out devices out there and I, I wait for the feedback because this is a team here. So I like the response that I get as far as what you would like to see me bring in or what you would think would fit the channel, you know, there's many, you know, variables that go into that, but I try to communicate that with you, uh, you know, out there. And, and I love the uh, camaraderie and the feedback that I get when it comes to deciding on what devices to bring in. Now, every device is always on my mind, especially the ones that I find interesting and intriguing. But does that mean that I get to bring them in? You know, all of them? No. Most of them? No. So I have to be selective with the finances that I uh, bring in or, you know, the, the finance that I have in hand and deciding what I'm going to bring in for the channel. Uh, I've already decided I'm not going to bring in the Note 7 unless something miraculous happened there because, I'm, you know, I'm just not going to pay $800. That's very difficult. And would I love to? Sure, sure. Would I love to just be able to go out and pick up whatever? Oh, definitely, especially for all of you out there. But it just can't happen. And I find it so much more intriguing with devices that are priced around... 100, 200, 300 that have a wow factor to them that I can bring in. And from the feedback that I get, it seems like that's what you guys and gals out there really like. We know that the big boys are always going to be covered regardless in a major way. So there are ways of discussing those devices, whether we're vlogging or doing a live show with uh, Jay Will and Tony Pazzo and other guests that come on to the Tech Talk show. Um, so there's ways of discussing those devices regardless. And, and we're going to do our homework on them and we're going to bring you some information on that. Trust me, we're going to do that. But not always going to be able to bring in, you know, the big boy devices. And um, But again, I just, I just think the in-between area is so far more interesting and that's kind of what I've gotten from all of you out there. You know, we got the Moto Z and the Moto Z Force. I was thinking about those devices and I'm just watching and doing some homework on those devices. The Moto Z, the 32 gig variant. And this is kind of what, what I was leading up to because it's kind of disturbing when you, you think of these prices. And, and I was thinking they were gonna be far less priced and I was watching Flossie, and that guy, man, he, he did a very thorough review on um, the Moto Z and the Moto Z Force. But the Moto Z is supposed to be priced at 620 for the 32 gig variant, 670 for the 64 gig variant, the Moto Z Force 720 for the 32 gig variant, 770 give or take uh, for the 64 gig variant. Now, obviously these devices are going to be phenomenal devices and if you watch Flossie's video you know he gives you his negatives right off the bat and then his positives and he's saying it's a must it's a must have it's a must but he disagrees on the price as well so and in and, and watching a few other videos and doing a little reading on some web pages yeah these are going to be great devices but they're not going to be worth that price in my mind in my opinion you let me know what you think i just think that's just outrageous now they both sport 1440 by 2560 
um, displays, 5.5 inch displays. The Moto Z is a, is, is a little thinner. The Moto Z4 is a little thicker. It's going to have more. It's going to have that 3,500 milliamp battery, and the uh, Moto Z is going to have, I think it's a 2,700 milliamp battery, if I'm correct. Um, where's my coffee? 2,600 milliamp battery on the Moto Z and 35 on the Moto Z Force. Major difference in battery life. Okay, 13 megapixel camera on the Moto Z, 21 megapixel on the Moto Z Force. Um, not sporting headphone jacks. You have to have an adapter. Not water resistant or not waterproof but water resistant to a point okay and you're gonna have your mods as well that go with these devices both sporting Qualcomm Snapdragon 820s okay so you got the latest and greatest processing power you got beautiful 1440 by 2560 displays but is it Justified to price the Moto Z between 620 and 670, depending on the variant you get with that device. 26,000 milliamp battery. No, that's important. Battery life is important. I I just don't see how they justify that price. Sure, it, it's it's got a 1440 by 2560 display. I'm sure the camera is going to be really nice. It's going to have a beautiful, beautiful, you know, as far as the quality build, it's going to be a beautiful, sexy device. They both are. All I'm saying is the specs are good and then okay. For 620, no, we're looking at maybe that device being 420 and then 470. Okay, take the Moto Z4s, which is going to have the same display, a bigger battery, um, a better camera, same same Snapdragon. That should have been 520, 570. In other words, both these devices have similar specs and then have some specs that aren't similar, but... For what they have and what they don't have, and I hope I'm not throwing a bunch of mumbo jumbo around. I'm trying to think here. It's early in the morning, trying to wake up, drink my coffee. They should have been priced a hundred dollars less for each device, the Moto Z, the Moto Z Force, and for the variant that you're getting. Okay, too pricey. What do you think? Am, am I wrong? I'm definitely, you know, if I, if I got the extra funds, it would be more intriguing for me to bring in the Moto Z Force before the Note 7. Okay? And just by just because, I don't know, that's just the way I am. I, Me, Anthony, a.k.a. my Project 13, that's the way, not everybody will agree. I'm, I'm a little different when it comes to thinking about what I bring in or how I see things. I, I, I don't like to typically follow anybody's path or pattern. I've, I've always been like that. Um, so when it comes to the channel, will I always bring in what everybody has or is thinking about getting? No. I might throw you off and, and you might think, why did he bring that? And I'll explain why I thought or brought that device in. Because I just, I, I try to not just think differently. I am that way. That's just the way I am. So I'll probably, if I had the funds, bring in the Moto Z Force before I would bring in the Note 7. But am I going to bring in the Moto Z Force at that price? Heck no. No. It, now... If I got a bunch of extra money dropped in my lap and um, got to find a parking spot here. 
and I was able to take the funds and wisely distribute them and not put myself in a situation where I'm going to regret it, then yes, I'll do it. Just because I find that device intriguing. The Moto Z, what throws me off right off the bat there, I mean, besides the price, is the battery life. A 2600 milliamp battery. It just ain't going to work for me. Okay? It's just not going to work for me. So I would go for the more expensive one. But would it would it de definitely be a consideration for me to bring in the Moto Z Force if it was priced at the 32 variant at 520 and 570 for the 64 gig variant? Oh, definitely. Definitely. I just want to know what your take is um, because that was one of the devices brought up here on the channel to bring in. And um, the way it looks right now, the Moto Z is not intriguing enough as the Moto Z Force. But the price is what's throwing me off. I, I There's going to be other devices. You know, I, I'm already bringing in the ZTX on 7 for my son, and I'll be reviewing that device. I'm already looking at the Asus Zenfone 3, the Deluxe. Okay, so be looking forward to that whenever that gets announced to come out so I can pick that up. And, you know, the Nexus devices. And Huawei is still saying they're making their next gen of a Nexus device. So definitely, definitely be thinking about that here for the channel. So let me know. Again, the Moto Z, the Moto Z Force. Two areas they're similar in is they both sport the same power underneath the hood, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820. They both have 1440 by 2560 displays. They're both gonna have gorgeous bodies. They're they're you know they're both going to have some similarities, but then there's the areas where they don't, and that's battery like 26 versus 3,500 milliamp batteries, and uh, cameras 13 to 21. Uh, 21 being on the Moto Z4s. And again, you can look at all the specs on GSM Arena and you can see what the differences are as far as those devices. I'm just giving you the top layer uh, uh, specs and, and I'm giving you a price point and where I think it's silly where uh, these devices got priced at and why I wouldn't consider them. What do you think about what I just talked about this morning? Uh, I don't know. I just, I wish they would make it a little bit, especially with what you could pick up right now, like the Moto G right here that I'm doing this video with. It's not the Moto G4 Plus. I traded that in for the Moto G right here, and I got this for 150 and even at 199 I have a, a device that I've really fallen in love with, and wow, yeah, it's just a wonderful, phenomenal device at a simple price which I already explained in one of the other videos that they could have easily priced this at 229, 239, 40, whatever, right in there somewhere. They could have easily done that and they didn't. I think they could have gone a hundred bucks cheaper on the Moto Z and the Moto Z Force. I, I easily think they could have done that. That's my opinion. What do you think? This is my car vlog. Right before I go into work, everybody have a great day. Till my next video, I'll be looking forward to your feedback. I'll get back to you. Hey, make make someone smile. To, do something nice for someone. All right? This is my Project 13. You are my Project 13. Peace, God bless, I'm out. Coffee time. That's what I'm talking about.